Hello everyone and welcome back to the Claire Newberry Knitting School. I hope you are all well and that you've managed to do some knitting this week. Um, thank you to everybody um, with the well wishes. Um, I was a little bit ill in, in the week, um, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I think it's just a bit of a cold that I had. Um, so yeah, touch uh, wood, I should be feeling a little bit better now from now on. Um, yeah, so, uh, so thank you for all of your lovely kind wishes and um, messages of encouragement as well. So that, was, that went down really well. It makes me feel really good, actually. Uh, spurs me on to, to kind of come and speak to you guys. Okay, so, so thanks for that. Okay, so I just wanted to um, mention a few things which are happening going forward. Um, so you may or may not know that I'm starting um, the Patreon uh, subscription. Um, whereby you can uh, pay a sort of a, le a level sort of fixed fee and have some recordings of designer knit, some uh, very, very basic beginner designer knit tutorials, uh, which will be available on there. Um, I've been listening to what you've been saying about um, having uh, recordings so you can go back and listen to them again and again. So I'm putting them on a platform so so you can you know go back at your, in your own time and at your own pace and be able to um, go through the, the tutorials, as I say, bit by bit, um, you know, every, everybody's different. So so I'm hoping to have um, a few of those um, readily um, uploaded um, fairly soon. So I hope to have that coming this this week, um, this new week coming. Um, so thank you for all the people that have already subscribed. Um, that's absolutely marvellous. Um, again, it's also encouraging to to hear what you, you've got to say. And it's encouraging that people, you know, really want me to, you know, have all of this available to, to more people and, um, you know, at a time that suits them. Obviously, everybody's got all of their own, you know, their life, their own life to, to uh, you know, life stuff to get on with. So. So yeah, so that will be um, happening. So I, I should be doing some more recording um, on that this week. And um, also what else is happening? Yeah, so I should be having um, patterns. I think we'll be able to be downloaded. I'm not sure whether we can do design in it um, um, uh, files uh, specifically for design in it, but I know that I can do PDF files. So I'm not sure if you can download the whole um, kind of patterns that I've been doing at the moment. Okay, but we're looking into that to see what we can do. Um, failing that, we can put. The, I'm I'm putting them on Etsy and also on Ravelry as well. They should be up on Ravelry. Um, I'm just going to double check that everything is okay and it's all uploaded and and it's sort of working okay on that side as well. If you have any problems, um, just do get in touch. You can just contact me and I'll send you the um the files. Um, on the two uh, patterns that I've got going at the moment. So so the first one we've got is the peacock shawl okay i'm just trying to hold it up so you can see the pattern so i'll try and bring that a little bit nearer okay so this pattern you start to knit let me get the other end um, it's about two meters uh 40 something like that uh, but you can make it as long as you like i guess you can uh, do what your own thing so that's um the the start if you like so that's almost all of the bed in actual fact okay um, so that's the pattern. There is quite a lot of transfers um, using the lace carriage um, and then the two rows knitting off plain. But as I say, to get the pattern and the bend in the, or the whale deflections as we call it in the industry, um, to get all of those kind of deflections happening, um, you do have to do quite a lot of uh, transfers. So to get that lovely effect, um, unfortunately, it does make the, the programme quite, quite long for that one. Okay. So it starts off, it's like a right angle triangle. OK, so this this edge, this is a straight edge. So this is basically the edge of the knitting machine. And then on the other edge, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually you almost end up with nothing. Oops. Um, OK, so it, it's like a very, very long, thin um, right angle triangle. I'm going back to my maths lessons there, long, long time ago that was. Uh, yeah, so my geometry <laughs> uh, lessons there for maths. Uh, yeah, so it's basically a long, thin triangle. It's, um, it, as I say, it's two metres um, 40. So, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's got, I, I quite like it. It's actually, it shrivels up to kind of nothing. Um, so, you know, you can just sort of wrap it round several times and just have it in your neck. Or you can, you know, just sort of... Um, utilize the kind of the long thinness of it and just sort of you know make that work i don't know something like that okay 
so um, yeah so it's quite versatile it's one of those um, you can have um, it's done in a 100% um, wool so it's merino wool it's from Uppingham Yarns and it's called it's a quality called Harmony it's 100% uh, merino it's knitted on tension 2 so it's quite fine um, it'll probably take you most of a morning or an afternoon to do depending on how fast you do um, I'm not the fastest knitter at all um, so you know kind of leave a bit and go back and do a bit more okay and it's just been blocked I haven't actually washed this yet um, it's just been blocked out um, on, I've just put it kind of you know if you've got like um, a hallway or something you can lay it out just for a couple of hours and I've uh, got the scalloped edge there that is all um, pinned out so the scallop should automatically form and you'll find the points and you can pull it down with a pin and you'll see that that is um, that will automatically form into its scallops at one end so you shouldn't have to do any more work it's just literally the pattern uh, doing its thing you know with the whale deflections and all of that so so that yeah so thank you for all I've been I've had such a good response um, people buying the pattern thank you so much for buying um buying the pattern it's really spurred me on um you know to do more and, and get in front of the camera and you know and sort of uh, yeah just sort of go go with go with the flow really and um yeah hopefully um there'll be more to come as well so um lace and jacquard and um other um very sort of simple shapes as well um, I'm hoping to do non-designer knit uh, designs as well. Although I'm designing it on designer knit, you don't necessarily have to have designer knit to be able to knit it. So you can get the templates um, to knit as well. This one would be a horrendous, oh, and horrendous, um, a horrendous, and horrendous, a horrendous um, amount of uh, punch card. It's 24 stitch, but it would be a really mega long punch card because of all the transfers. So I'm looking at doing a more simpler version, which is good for you, uh, punch card. Uh, knitters as well okay not just electronic people but you know that should be available it um, it's about uh, 200 grams okay so it's quite weightless and uh, yeah it's uh, just really soft against the skin it doesn't have to be done in merino and um, you could do it in a uh, in any yarn that, that looks good with lace actually um, because it's not size specific you know you, it kind of shrivels up to nothing or you can spread it out and have it over your shoulders it's kind of one of those sorts of things really quite versatile so that's um, the peacock uh, feather shawl and then we have um, the little vest top which I did um, oh, a, a bit of a, a few weeks ago now um, and this is using the garter carriage um, so there's the pattern there just inspired by a little sort of um, zigzag and that is in like a moss stitch kind of formation and it's done in canali which is the um, yeoman yarns canali uh, from the UK and um it but it can be done in any any yarn really um it's a four ply yarn I, I knitted this on uh tension nine and one dot so um yeah so you're at the kind of the high end of the um you know the level of the uh <coughs> the stitch size really so um yeah so you, you you're looking at a yarn that is um going to be good for stitch definition um or you could just knit it plain i guess you could just uh, use the instructions uh, the dimensions and how many um uh, uh rows and stitches and things like that and the shaping facility for the for the little bra top there um it also the pattern goes around the back as well okay and then just little shoestring straps which you just sort of carry on you just almost knit up to nothing okay so um this is the flon flon and uh, Flon Flon has a very nice story actually it goes back to my youth uh, when I was uh, I used to be a groom at weekends uh, for a show jumping stable and um, Flon Flon was a horse um, which was on the telly at the time because I was horse mad at the time so Flon Flon is actually um, I, I believe it's it means Flon Flon in French means uh, noisy and uh, um, so and so yeah so hopefully you're going to make some noise you're going to strut your stuff just like Flon Flon the horse was he was a bit of a character um, and uh, yeah and he was a grey as well so uh, so that kind of that was the the name that I came up with so Flon Flon is um, yeah nice little sort of camisole top very easy to wear nice under a little blouse or under a shawl or something um, yeah but very easy to wear very easy to throw on and again, thank you for all your lovely comments with me wearing it. Not the sort of thing that I normally would put myself in front of the camera with. But um, thanks for all your lovely comments. And uh, yeah, and that's and all the people that have bought it so far. Um, and I hope you're enjoying uh, knitting and uh, wearing it as well. 
Okay, so that's a couple of things in the pipeline. Or, well, they, they should be out there, out there now, actually. Um, then also um, the Machine Knitting Monthly, um, my new, this is uh, last month actually, and you should have, if you subscribe to it, you should have uh, September's out already. Um, I'm just writing up for um, oc uh, ooh, November's, is it October's, November, November's, I think I'm just writing up. So um, you may or may not know, but I'm writing, uh, designing the articles uh, in here as well and I'm also having a blog spot as well so some of the things that we're talking about today will also be appearing in the blog spot but uh, generally uh, th it'll cover things like um, um, you know what I've been up to where I've been um, if I've been to any yarn shops or anything like that um, all of that kind of stuff is is kind of covered in in, uh, in in my little blog spot and also I do but it's like a bi-monthly thing where I do design and knit uh, tutorials as well so so that should be. I'm right. Final. I'm writing the um, the next little blog spot, which should be out. Not this next um, issue, which will be October's. It'll be coming out for November's issue, which will be out early October. Okay. So it's kind of like a month in hand, which is a little bit confusing. But yeah. But each month, um, I will do um, something about either about the studio or about design and it. Okay. And what I've been up to. Okay, and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, there's more design work to be coming through. I'm also offering um, like a little design service as well, like a little design bureau. Um, so I say, if there's anything like a special thing that you want designing, you, maybe you want a christening um, blanket or you've got a new birth and you want, you know, newborn baby blanket and your name and things like that and a little design making. Um, I can work on um, um, a, a, you know, a basis, like a bureau basis for that as well. So you just have the design and then you download it to, to your machine and knit. And then I'm also working with um, mainly uh, design students uh, or design graduates or um, master students as well, where I'm working um, with with them. So I have all of the uh, knitting machinery and all of the equipment and obviously all of the expertise. I've got 33 years of expertise of working in the knitwear industry and I've got about 25 years of working with, um, you know, top end uh, universities, um, you know, for knitwear. Um, so um, UK universities, that is. So um, I've had, yeah, about 25, 26 years now of working um, with students, undergraduates. I've loved every minute of it. I love working with students. Um, I love passing on my information and, and as well as people, you know, interested to, to hear that as well. So I've got students that are eager to, to, to listen to what I've got to say, which is absolutely marvellous. And, uh, you know, if as long as that continues and I shall be uh, teaching. Um, yeah, so I'm still doing the one to one tuition. Um, and uh, on Patreon as well, there may be, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of putting other um, levels of the Patreon sort of subscription so you can have, you know, uh, pay a bit more each month and then have more from me from the design studio. So uh, either more design led or um, more one to one, more bespoke um, tuition or semi bespoke uh, tuition. Um, so and with, you know, maybe a few, um, a, a smaller audience. OK, so all of that I'm hoping to um, bring for you for next uh, for all of this month. Um, so hopefully by uh, next week when I come and do a little blog spot again, um, I'll just be a little bit further down the line and, um, you know, hopefully I've uploaded some recordings and things like that. So it's yeah, it's. Um, it's a lot of preparation, um, which is taking a lot longer which, than I thought. So which is, um, yeah, which is obviously putting things back. So if you do bear with me and, um, you know, just keep uh, just keep an eye out and I'll um, hopefully, you know, re inform everybody by little blogs uh, like this as well, just to let you know what's happening. But yeah, I'm so excited and, um, you know, can't wait to start this autumn and, you know, and just sort of, um, you know, keep doing uh, what I'm doing but just hopefully have it available for more people and you know I just want to thank you so much for um, you know all of the lovely um, comments and um, sort of little words of en enthusiasm and uh, and to keep me sort of keep me going as well it's, it's really helpful and it's uh, also great to know what you guys want and, and a lot of you have told me what you want so I'm hoping to to um, address all of the um, the things that you want to learn from a tutorial point of view as well 
Okay, so I'm going to uh, be quiet now and um, I'm hoping that you're having a lovely week, lovely weekend, wherever you are in the world. Um, you know, happy knitting. Uh, do get in touch um, if you want to discuss further anything that we've talked about today or anything new indeed. Um, you know, I'm always um, open to suggestions and um, yeah, just, just get in touch. Okay, and uh, yeah, so be well and um yeah happy knitting everybody okay so until next time bye for now